Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Once again, this is Rob Tyree, and today I have yet another package from Nintendo of America. Now, you'll have to uh, excuse me, I don't remember exactly what I ordered. Well, I remember one thing I ordered. I ordered two things from the Nintendo Rewards Program. Uh, the Nintendo Rewards Program is basically a program where you can accumulate Nintendo points and then you can use those points to acquire uh, random Nintendo items. And uh, I got two things. If you want my opinion on the items before I even open this up, I'm guessing that they're probably pretty cheap. Um, they're probably worth the equivalent, if not less than, uh, the shipping cost, which is $5. So without further ado, let's just, let's go ahead and open this thing up, rip into it, and see what's inside. Uh, I remember I ordered, I remember one thing I ordered, but not the other thing. I know I ordered two things. If I'm remembering correctly, they were 400 points each. And so, let's see. There should be two items inside this box. Unless they ship them separately. Now, I'm going to open this off camera and remove anything that may be... Uh, that may have personal information on it. It doesn't look like anything this time. As you can see, this is what's inside. So let's take a look. Let's throw this box away. All right. So we've got Paper Mario, the Origami King. Uh, what is this? Well, let's open it up and see what's inside. And then we'll take a look at the other thing. I don't remember what this is, actually, so... Oh, yes! Little origami papers. You use these to fold your paper cranes or your paper whatever is and whatnots and so on. Are they all the same? Let's look at it in detail, I suppose. We got some toads and some origami cats. We got a Kamek over there. Paper Mario himself. I haven't played this one yet. Uh, Bowser Jr. Paper Mario, Captain Toad. We've got... Uh, that weird origami peach. Um, Goomba. Various Mario enemies. Question blocks, stars. Fire flower, I think that's an ice flower. And yeah, if you're wondering about the quality of the paper... Uh, it feels a little, maybe thinner than regular paper. It feels like paper, I mean. So there's that. Now maybe I will look up how to fold an origami crane or something. And do that. The next thing we have is a Pikmin 3 Deluxe product of some sort. And let's open it up. And see what's inside. Oh, yeah. They're coasters. So here's the... Uh, I don't know what you'd call this. Cover art, I guess. Let's take a look at each of these coasters. They're very thin. Very cheap. Uh, cardboard. And probably not even worth the shipping, to be honest. But the art is fairly uh, enjoyable. 
you can see kind of the uh, material if I shine the light on it like that. So we've got, I don't know what any of the things in Pikmin are called. Uh, I forget his name. Is that Alf? And the Rock Pikmin, red, blue, purple, yellow. Here we have a yellow Pikmin sitting atop uh, what looks to be a mushroom. Some purple flowers in the back amongst greenery. We've got blue, yellow, and red standing atop a log. Rock Pikmin down here. Pink guy over here. Red guy hiding. And then we have, this one's probably my favorite one, just a bunch of clovers and some Pikmin hiding within. Okay. What do I think of these? Well, I don't know. They, they're they very cheap, uh, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, each of these, I believe, costs... 400 Nintendo points, uh, the silver points, and for a total of 800 points, one might uh, desire a little bit more than paper, but this is what I ordered, and I ordered it knowing what it was, what I was going to get, so... Uh, shipping costs is $5, and I don't think I would spend $5, like if I saw these in the store, well first of all, I probably would not be interested in getting them anyway, but if these, if I saw these and they cost $5, I definitely wouldn't go for it. I'm not into origami. I've got plenty of coasters already that are much higher quality than this. Um, so yeah, it's not for everybody. And, and there's other options on the Nintendo Rewards program, but they all seem pretty much equally low quality. And I can't really say I expected much. Now, if these these definitely do come across as a free reward of some kind. They, I mean... They definitely feel like they should be free, but you have to pay for shipping. It's $5 for shipping, and that might turn a lot of people off. Uh, but yeah, here it is. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, uh, please subscribe if you'd like, or don't. You know, it's up to you. You're your own person. And uh, yeah, I plan on doing more of these, maybe, so we'll see you next time.